Okay, uh, K9. So, um, yeah, Casper here. It's not. It's not a coin to be looking at. It's interesting to know that it's new here, uh, and we're we're getting a pump. That that's that is a decent sign. Okay, I found that chart. Um, so, yeah, interesting to know. You know, Ho or not Hobie, um KuCoin listing on the bottom here. You know, it it looks like I don't know yet. I've not measured it, but it looks to me like it's down ninety nine percent or whatever. Um, as a rough guide there. Well, 94 percent. But if I actually go in and go to a four hour chart, you can see that there is actual real trading going the whole way up to here on a four hour chart. There was a four hour close, an open, and a wick up to here. Now I don't know what that what, that that's a scam wick up here, but this was actually trading volume or trading trading action. So when I refine it down to that, you can see that technically. Uh, Casper is down, you know, 99, well, it's, yeah, it's down 99%, I don't know what it was on the lows, so, um, yeah, that, that that is definitely interesting, you can see that uh, KuCoin listed it then, when it was down there, over 99%, really, uh, to be fair, 99.5%, so, definitely missed missed i think it we, i don't think we've completely missed the move but i think uh yes now a lot of th a lot of times when coins drop 99 percent the first retrace above here can end up being a short again now this will probably come down and probably beat these highs up here and and then maybe it could distribute back down and retest the low somewhere down here that is that is my concern and that is a pattern that i have seen um, you know over the years when coins have dropped this far it's very unusual for it to keep going so I, d I don't think that this will be the top I think because of the market is maybe getting a little bit bullish there might be a bit of an extra move back up and then go into distribution before coming down again so I I I do like this if this goes back down they're relisting it down here KuCoin is relisting down here so um, that, that makes me a fan of it. It's very normal for these coins to get to drop 99% or whatever, um, and, and then to, to get relisted. KuCoin will then be looking to make money off it by promoting it, it making money in trading volume uh, and all that sort of stuff. And maybe it might even get end up getting listed on Binance. The problem is, uh, in the past, it has usually gone up a lot, and then Binance lists it up here, and then it gets the second leg up. So, if KuCoin are listing this now, um, you know, Binance may do it in the future. If we do get pullbacks, uh, it, it might be good to think about buying some Casper. I want to show you some examples of coins that have dropped 99%. You can see that, um, you know, the, the first attempt here, and then this is OMG, by the way. Uh, you'll remember OMG from back in the day. Uh, you can see here, this was distribution. We got up in here, yes, there was a nice pump up, and there was a pullback, and then a second leg to new highs, and then we did actually drop drop away again, and, um, well, we, we did take out the lows on OMG again later. Uh, the next one, LRC here. Now, LRC was a little bit different because we, we dropped, we had this big base, but the, the big base here, you know, was 96% down, then down here is ninety eight percent down, and from ninety eight percent down, we gradually worked our way in to the red two hundred moving average. But again, this became distribution. It was a slightly different uh, approach and uh, a different setup, but the, the same outcome happened. And you can see that again, uh, these lows were eventually taken out a year later, um, two thousand nineteen. You can see in December or whatever, and you can see down in here. As December 2000, uh, December 2019, and January 2020. So it's almost a year later from these lows that the market actually bottomed out and, and moved up again. But this was distribution above the red 200. Again, if we look at BNX here, I think this also fell 99%. And well, we can see what happened. The first base here that was down 86% ended up moving and grinding its way higher into the red 200 moving average and into that red 200 moving average ended up being the t tipping point 
um, for going lower. Now there was this wick here, I'm not too sure how real it is or whatever, but that's where price ended up coming down to and piercing these lows before going into a real bull market. But ultimately, again, the move into the first move into the red 200 moving average was not a point to be buying. Uh, it ended up getting sold off from there. Again, this period took about eight to nine months from from this point kind of down to here. But of course, if you had you know five six months later, if you had bought anywhere here, maybe bought another one and whatever, if you had bought a few sporadic buys down in here, you know you were golden and you were you were getting in at a great time. Even if you had bought here and then added here, you know, you're gonna have a great average of somewhere down in, in here that was down on the lows that people would have been delighted to have before the next bull run. Again, all examples show that these first lows got taken out and went lower. Now Casper is down ninety nine percent, so you know, maybe it'll struggle to take out the lows, but if you get to a double bottom, it's probably a good place to buy it. And if it goes lower, well then it's probably a good place to be adding to it.